Hi right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful day. Here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, here in the collapse of global industrial civilization and the Finger Lakes of New York, where we have a buttercup explosion going on. Man, it is Saturday. What is it? May 25th, 2023. Somewhere around there. Uh, as we crank up our first weekend at Bugs in a Jar. Yep, camp. And uh, noticing, I, I thought I was dead. I was dying with the dead ash trees. Who was I kidding? Oh boy. Look at all these dead trees. Anyway, it is, uh, this is what I'm actually more concerned about than dead, than dead ash trees <coughs> falling on my house today. So this is the rushing trout stream. Uh, behind my tiny house it's in May. Uh, so it is late May and I think, yeah, I could. I could step across this creek in one step. This is what this creek should look like about Labor Day instead of Memorial Day. And there is no sign as far as they can see into the future, at least here in New York, baby. No sign of one drop of rain. And uh, so right here, this creek, which, which is a trout stream, right here is four feet wide and three inches deep in May. So what this thing here is, this is my drip irrigation system going over to my garden. I'm not gonna have much of a garden this year. All I'm, I'm, I'm planting 12 tomatoes, 24 potatoes, and 100 gladiolas. So I think I can finally plant this weekend. There was a frost on the pumpkin yesterday, but uh, I'll have to go see if what kind of shape my drip irrigation tubes. This comes out, I, I irrigate out of my well. Let me just turn on the hose goes out over to the garden so I only have to have I'm only going to be running three of my ten beds this year since I never found a gardener the position of bugs in a jar gardener is still open if anybody wants to come live in my garden which you better hurry if you want to come spend the summer at bugs in a jar living in my garden what do you think, little dog? I think it's a fine morning out here on this rocky beach. This beach should be underwater right now. This, in May, these buttercups should be, you know, I mean, you can see the buttercups should be right along the shore of the creek. The little dog should be in about three inches of water right now. Ah, oh, boy. Now, it's still early in the morning. I am wearing a, a goose down vest, flannel pajamas, a sweatshirt, and my Uggs. So there's not, no, uh, no bees on the buttercups. I'm not concerned. Uh, the bumblebee and the mason bee population seem to be healthy. If I come out here in about two hours, it should be, uh, there should be plenty of bees that bugs in a jar.
Good Lord, look at this. I can. Now, right here, I can step across the creek. I think I need to trim this willow out of here. Uh, yep. In May, I can step across the creek. This is not a good sign. Oh boy. Now those are black locust trees. That's not an ash tree. Now it's an ash tree on the right. But uh, don't tell me we're losing the black locust trees. And there's one sick apple tree right there. Oh boy. <laughs> Chronicling the dead trees on this gorgeous day, but I have got to get back to being a Airbnb super host. Take care of my guests. I don't know what that that looks like a very nice I can make a very nice step out of that. I can make a nice step across the creek. I gotta fish that thing out of the creek. Gotta build some stairs. Good Lord, the work never ends around here. But uh, it is a fine day along Buttercup Creek. <laughs> if you're a buttercup. Get out there and enjoy your buttercups while well, you still can. What do you think, little dog? Are you enjoying your buttercups? Bye, guys.